These are some of my own Warhammer minis. It never occurred to me until extremely recently, but I never actually showed off my own homebrew Warhammer minis. I showed off a Dark Angel before, but I did these months ago. They're part of my own custom homebrew Space Marine chapter. If you wanted to know the colours, it's it's Lead Belcher, Retributor Gold, McCrag Blue, and Mephiston Red. And what they're supposed to be, their their gene lineage is Death Guard, but as you can see they're obviously Loyalist Primaris. And the reason why Death Guard, well that's a kind of a very long story, but long story short, Death Guard are kind of my favourite Legion, Mortarian's my favourite Primarch. And these guys, you'll instantly know what their purpose is the second I give you the name. They're, they are called the Redeemers of the Reaper. Guess what their entire existence is about from the name right now. Guess. Pretty obvious. They're just, their, their whole job is they, they are trying to bring back the glory to the Death Guard that has been besmirched since the heresy and being corrupted by Nurgle. It's, it's like they're bringing back the pre-heresy uh, Death Guard. The Great Crusade Death Guard, if you will. So, my plans for them is they will use lots of, like, Death Guard-like tactics and strategies. And they have maybe philosophies that you could say are quite extreme. Like, because of the whole Nurgle thing, they absolutely despise... Uh, they despise Psychers because of Typhus. And his hidden psyker abilities and that. So they, they're they a space marine chapter without any librarians. Kind of like the Black Templars. In fact, they share quite a few things in common with them. You know, the Xeno and the Heretic and all that. And how they have a more extreme hatred than most other space marine chapters. And yeah. So, I, I don't know. I think these guys are cool. I like their colour scheme. I like what I've done with them. These were some of the first minis I ever painted. Not these ones specifically, but I'm talking about the, you know, in terms of the colour scheme. This was one of the first ways I painted a mini ever. And I really, really like it. One cool thing I've been trying to think of for maybe a, a two-something years now, but I haven't gotten anywhere with it, is I've been trying to think of, like, really cool lore for them outside of the general parameters of their existence. I kind of like the idea of, oh, they might have their own little subspec subsection of space in Segmentum Pacificus. Kind of like an extremely, an ex kind of like an extremely small version of Ultramar, where it's like only maybe one system or whatever that is semi-autonomous or whatever. And they, and they basically, the Imperium allows them to do whatever they want, but they have a pretty interesting condition. If even a single one of them falls to chaos, then the, Imper then the Imperium and the Inquisition have full right to eradicate their, their entire chapter. So they're extremely careful around, around things like psychers, for example. In fact, they, they despise psychers. The only psychers they can even tolerate are navigators. And even though this might be... Uh, against the law this might be a law breaking thing i thought maybe a cool thing for them would be that they hate psychers so much that despite how contradictory it might sound they actually feel more comfortable around blanks because it's like they know all about their ancient past uh, about their gene sire's ancient past and their gene lineage legion's ancient past and it kind of has permanently traumatized them against psychers and chaos and all of that there's so much more lore i can think of like i don't know if this sounds really stupid or just generally silly but i could think of lots of lore around oh here are some chapters 
that might get along with them quite well. Like I already said, they have very similar philosophies to the Black Templars, but they also kind of owe their existence to Rabute Gilliman. So they might kind of like the Ultramarines in the sense where the Ultramarines well, the Ultramarines kind of vouched for their existence. It's like the um. The, the High Lords and the Inquisition kind of despise their existence. But the um, Mechanicus and Ultramar kind of find them very fascinating and kind of hope to see this experiment succeed. And the experiment obviously is their existence, you know. I think it's really cool. I think I could do a lot more lore around it. This video is getting quite long. If you want me to talk about this topic in another video, you can. You can you can drop a comment saying talk about this more and we can come up with lots of cool ideas. All right. Well, that's the end of the video. Bye-bye.